Hey, so we're getting ready to pack for John of God. And um, I just wanted to show you what we're bringing. A little checklist, let's call it. Let's go take a look. So what do we have here? Well, we have lots of white clothing. In John of God, you want to have white underwear, white bras, white pants, white shirts, plenty of them depending on how long you're staying. I also have a sort of a pale, I don't know what you want to call it, colored sweater just in case it gets a little chilly. And then for those days where we're not actually doing the Casa stuff, if I wanted to go to an off um, out of the, the, the city for a little bit, I've got some jeans, um, some other kind of funky, comfortable lounging pants, some tank tops, and then I can coordinate those with the white shirts. And I do have one, one um, heavy, heavy jacket because it is right now the winter there. And uh, depending, you know, even though it doesn't get uh, too cold, you know, it might get a little nippy in the, in the winter, uh, in the evening. So got to be prepared with that. Now, as far as the items you want to bring with, obviously, don't forget your passport. It is the end of the rainy season. A tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny travel umbrella wouldn't hurt. Okay. Brazil is on their own um, electricity. So if you're going to bring a laptop or anything that needs to be plugged in, get a universal converter. This is actually your cheapest bet. This is um, one from a company. <laughs> I got it at Staples over in the international section, $14. And it actually translates to 40 different countries. I use this a lot. It's, it's really good. And then, of course, what I do is I bring my own soap only because, you know, as a woman, you know, you want to bring something. I bring a coconut soap, it, it, moisturizing the skin. Always have batteries. Always have the smallest flashlight in existence. This is a tiny flashlight. It's a keychain, but it also is very powerful. Always have this with me. Um, a little first aid kit. A um, couple of hair, hair ties. You know, your shampoo, cream, and something, you know, as small as you can possibly bring it. Also, there is a waterfall over at John of God. Um, it is usually no clothing at all. But just in case they started wearing bathing suits, I brought mine. Actually, some of the Posadas actually have their own pool <coughs> as well. And uh, depending on uh, who I visit, um, I might need it. Anyway, so this is all I'm bringing. Um, and I will be... Um, you know, I bring my, um, I'm bringing a, a pair of uh, flip-flops. That's about it. I am going to be in, um, going to Peru as well. So these, this is going to have to work for everything I do. I might end up um, downsizing on the white once I get out of uh, the, uh, the Abujani area. But we'll figure that out. You know, it's amazing what you can mail back to the States to your friends. And uh, we'll just take it from here. And that's it. So... Here's your packing list, your checklist. Also, don't forget an alarm clock because um, you were going to want, there's not, there's not going to be any wake-up service there. Um, uh, you know, as far as your water, they, they do sell water at the Casa, so you don't have to worry about bringing any extra water with you. Uh, as I said, just make sure you have a, a flashlight um, and uh, and maybe a sewing kit, that's always handy. I always bring a sewing kit with me no matter where I go. You never know when you're going to need to sew things up. Uh, as far as like shampoos and stuff, you have your own preference. Bring the smallest bottle you can based on how long you're staying. You can always get more. My big thing is not the, the shampoo itself, it's the cream rinse. And you know if you have hair like mine, it's curly, you know what I'm talking about. So... Again, um, there's going to be more detail in, um, in my book, but uh, here's the video. Uh, and as we get ready to rock and roll and um, go down and see John of God. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh, blessings and love.